Now, National IT Management Station says it has so far recorded over 107 million people in the ongoing enrollment of the National Identification Number as against 104 million recorded in December 2023. Director General and CEO Engineer Bisoye Koka revealed this at the media parley at the Commission's boardroom. Let's join our correspondents for more details. In her maiden media parley since assuming office in August 2023, the Director General slash CEO Nimsi, Engineer Bisoye Koka Dusote, restated Nimsi's dedication to its mandate under her leadership in a five point agenda. Um, our key focus area is to ensure that one, we're able to increase enrollment. Um, two, we're able to ensure proper harmonization and integration of data across all the ministries, departments and agencies. Thirdly, the issuance of a GMPC and also to ensure the activation and use of applets on this GMPC. The fourth is access to services to aid financial inclusion through G2P payments. And the fifth one is to increase public and private sector participation in using the name as the foundational identity and also data, foundational data for identification. Engineer Dusote buttressed the Commission's drive to improve enrollment by increased media awareness on the importance of NIN. She added that the Commission has begun upgrading registration software licenses to improve capacity of database from 100 million to 250 million. With a ward council approach to decentralize enrollment centers, ARCs, in local government areas. NIMSI is also partnering NASCO to cater for the poor using social intervention programs by revalidating the existing social register to ensure palliatives rich targeted beneficiaries. Well, one of the key reasons of having a digital identity is to ensure that you are able to use it for ease of access to government services. The name will be able to show transparency and accountability in terms of us knowing Mrs. Mutar, who is a, a mother, who is unemployed, has eight children, has been penciled down to be able to access a government intervention program or several other government intervention programs, depending on what it is. Fielding questions from journalists, DG Software and Biometrics Department, NIMSI, Mr. Lanre Yusuf, urged Nigerians to refrain from multiple enrollments. Director, Database of the Commission, Mr. Olufemi Fabumi, during the interactive session with journalists, reeled out the number of enrollments so far. As of December, we had about one and four, five million. So that is the four months we have added about two million to the services. Engineer Dusote also read the riot act to extortionists loitering around the ERCs preying on unsuspecting Nigerians as she vowed to persecute them. She, however, stressed that NIN enrollment is free and encouraged Nigerians to take advantage of the online self-service portal to effect changes of names, phone numbers, dates of birth, and addresses from the comforts of their homes. Beto Bryan, reporting for ADBN.